I'm Mohammed. I come to Saddle Hill College where I study in IT BTEC. My favourite pastime is just being at home and just watching Netflix really. Uh, my name is Hannah. I'm born and bred in Britain. My hobbies, uh, they include like uh, reading, watching Netflix, uh, and also just walking my dog, playing with my dog, my new puppy. She's so cute. I'm absolutely in love with her. My name is Daniel Smith. I currently live in Sheldon, Birmingham. Most of my favourite hobbies revolve around physical activity. I do mostly scouts, hiking, camping, that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm Chris Kennedy. I'm 17. I'm a student of Digital Innovators. I've had kind of like a passion for music since I was uh, probably a small wee man. I'm self-taught, so obviously I'm, I'm not that good, but um, it's just a fun hobby and like, it's, it's fun to do. So I think the word confidence entails someone who can actually express themselves being able to sort of speak out uh, your own opinion and what you think matters. I guess being um, able to show off your true self of a sense. Today we've been working on the, uh, the Conrad Challenge, a global competition run by Conrad and some of the people at SMART I think are involved with it as well uh, to create the classroom of the future. We're aiming to improve the current classroom and push education to the max. The more tools that students get to play with in the digital classroom, the more likelihood it is that they'll look for the same tools when they're in employment. Yeah. Yeah. We've actually made it to the round in which we can go and present at the BET trade show uh, in London, which is a big um, national education show where they show off hardware, software and different kind of new futuristic teaching uh, inventions. And we're hoping to present under Smart's panel. So we do want to reach out to other people such as uh, the employees at Smart and different people who can actually attend if we get into the finals, which is the step after this, we'll be able to go to present our idea in Florida. We'll be able to present in front of a lot more people and, you know, all expenses paid a uh, trip to Florida. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> What I learned is sort of how many different companies can have the same idea. There are lots of VR and robotic companies, but there are also a lot of other companies like um, integrated systems and everything for education. It's pretty cool so far. It's, it's quite good. I mean, there's quite a few things that are quite cool. Uh, so, what yeah. sort of things have stood out to you? Uh, well, like, we haven't been here long, but I mean, uh, smart, obviously. <laughs> there's one pair right there. Hey company with the, the, the coding robots made out of like actual metal alloy, that was cool. The current education system is both restricted and flawed. We are all taught in the same method, despite the fact that students learn in different styles and fashions, which aren't all represented in the classroom. So here's an example of a Stone Age tool. So this is obviously for cutting trees and chopping things and stuff. And now it's just a bit of rock inside of a bit of wood. It's not that, you know, it's not that complicated, but it got the job done back then. Can you just stop for a minute? This is what I was telling my year sixes today. Do you not wear a jacket with pockets in it? So we can't, we gotta. Yeah. The ditch one of it. Okay, yeah. You're public speaking. You're public speaking. Just hands no, by hands side or like um, and gestures. And also, um, today was like, you know those little year sixes that were out there? Yeah. If you talk to the picture, we can't hear you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It sounded kind of mean, okay. but I'm usually quite conserved with my uh, body language. Like I do. I do gesture sometimes, but most of the time I like having my hands in my pockets or by my sides or, you know, something like crossed a lot of the time. But um, they kind of gave me the advice of when I'm presenting, because it's quite a big presentation, I don't want my hands in my pockets. I want to actually have them either like this so they're out and then gesture with them. Because doing this, it means like it's a lot easier to go from this to this or, or this to this than this to that. So if you get what I mean. And this is where I found out about Digital Innovators. It was an optional part of my course where, uh, where I chose to attend every week for three hours. And, it really, and I really enjoyed going and I just kept going. And it took me through a whole year of it. 
and my love for it kept it took me through a whole another year of it, and it also let me, it also driven me, drove me to join Digital Innovators under. To be honest, when we first done the rehearsal, I was really nervous, and it can you can tell in the video and all the videos that everyone took, uh, because I just it was something new, and yeah, I was confident, but I was still really nervous as it's something brand new. But then I took that away. I went, I studied what I had to study at night, done what I had to do, done what I did, and then I just delivered the next day. Today's a big day. A bit nervous, can't lie, but I think we practiced and we're ready for it. Pretty nervous, good, yeah. but I think we're confident about this. Yeah. We're, we're, he's a champ. <laughs> so are you, him. you're a champ. Nah. We were given the topic of transforming education through the use of technology, essentially building what we believe to be the classroom of the future. I like how important research and rehearsing is uh, to towards a presentation, because before I, I thought, oh, you can just wing it, but now I know that rehearsing is very important, and it was definitely very helpful that we had so much rehearsal time. But nowadays, we look at that and think, why use that when? Use a chainsaw. So obviously... It was really nerve-wracking when we were actually there and doing it, and like the day before. Uh, but I mean, we got there in the end, and I think we did quite well, to be honest. While Mick, who is a CEO and a mentor at Digital Innovators, was probably talking about the course and about the trial, all I heard was, trial, opt out, and free up my timetable. Sorry, Mick. <laughs> I think one of the best parts of London for me was all the different experiences with my friends. We did the circus, Trunk Square, Buckingham Palace. That was really cool. Just getting to see all the landmarks, you know? I mean, yeah. it hurt after we got back to the hotel. I couldn't feel my legs, but it was a good experience. Let's actually read the email, which I have been dying to read. <laughs> Hi, team. Hi, Mick. Unfortunately... Unfortunately... Uh, I mean, I mean, the email starts off with unfortunately, and obviously it goes on to saying we did not make the finals, so we won't be off to America this year. I can't lie, I'm pretty disappointed that we never made it. It's like I believe, and I'm sure the whole team believes that we put in a lot, a lot of effort. I don't think the documentary fully captures the amount of effort we put in, uh, but I, I believe we. We deserve the final. I can't lie. I do believe we deserve to be in the final. But what can you do? I mean, I guess you win some and you lose some. And we just happened to pull the short straw on this one. I didn't, like, originally put my hopes up kind of thing. Like, I, I, I kept saying to myself, because I do this with a lot of things, like, we probably won't get to America, and I'm fine with that. But, like, I, ho I hoped we did. And, like, we didn't. But we still got a lot out of it, and it was, like, a really big thing that we did, to be honest. Sure, we didn't get to go to America. I'm quite disappointed. I, I personally wanted to go because I want to try Wendy's, you know? <laughs> so is, that, is that why you wanted to go? <laughs> that was the only reason. Wendy's. Right. I'm trying to get you the career of a get long time and you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> on the day, I think every one of you did it in all sorts of different ways. Most suddenly became a presenter. Dan was definitely in charge of the tech. Thank God for Hannah because actually Hannah has that had the control all the way through. She knew what it had to look like all the way through. Um, and I thought that was really, that's really cool because Hannah, you don't play that role outwardly, but you kept that team under control, which is really, really cool. I'm all right to just go and say hello to a person, and start a conversation. They're not gonna just ignore me and think, oh, they're just some dumb teenager. And now that we have the idea, we're gonna go to different companies, different colleges and things like that. And we're gonna actually show off our idea and ask who wants to help? We got started, but now we realise how much of how much of an impact we actually have with our like, design. I tend to plan pretty much everything I do around making sure it will work, no matter what happens.